About a week ago, I returned to a batting practice net for the first time in about three decades. And I asked you for your comments on how you felt I did and how I went along. You gave me loads of helpful comments and advice. And so I'm here again to see how I can put as much of that as possible into practice. So I'm back here at my local indoor batting lane in Gloucester. The first session I did uh, a week ago was great for getting the rust off, but now I really want to work and hone some technique and take some of the comments that you made and put that into practice. A couple of people made the suggestion that I really should be using a helmet in these sessions. And so here it is, I have my helmet and I'll be under the helmet for this session. Another suggestion was to keep to the same speed for the entire session. So for this session, 55 miles an hour with no deviation, no variance. Keeping the ball just pitched outside off stump. All good things don't start that well though. And despite leaving the first two balls, the third ball caught me absolutely plum LBW. Another one of your suggestions was to always keep the lane tidy. So I made sure that I was keeping everything clean and tidy. I was very happy though with some of the shots, getting forward and getting everything in line, head above the ball at contact and letting the ball come on. I faced about 60 balls, so 10 overs or so. And I'm really impressed, uh, not moving around too much, Something I noticed technically, bat is behind the front pad quite often. Uh, try work on that. On the whole, left it quite well uh, and thought that the ball hit the, the center of the bat more often than not. So really pleased with that. In the next session, I'm going to try and focus on the trigger movement. Now, one of your comments said that the back and across from middle, which is the guard I'm taking, across to off stump with the back leg is something that should I should look at for the trigger movement. And in researching it, it's the same thing that Jacques Callis did. Um, now I've got an affinity for Jacques Callis because he's from Cape Town, my hometown. So in this session, really focus on the back foot trigger movement across to off stump and then the front movement. Let's see how it goes. So initially I found it really difficult. The first 60 balls where I had not moved my back foot had really entrenched a particular line and length for me and I found it very difficult to adjust. But after a few balls, I did finally start to find my rhythm. The back and across movement I adjusted for and then I started to be able to come forward again. Throughout all these sessions, I'm really trying to minimize the amount of movement. As the ball is delivered, I'm trying to keep as still and steady head, keeping my eyes as level as possible, staying quite low as I can. And then as the ball is delivered, having that back and across movement and then adjusting for the line and the length. And I started to get into it and you can see starting to connect much more often with that back and across movement every so often struggling with the wider outside off ball but the suggestion I had of just improving the muscle memory just repeating the same thing over and over again with no vari variation in the way the bowling machine was producing the balls and just focusing on that back and across and then the adjustment and that repetition over and over through the course of 60 or so deliveries on the same line and length more or less but repeating the process over and over really did pay off because by the end of the session I was starting to connect more and more and practically every ball hit the center of the bat and I really did have a keen focus on where the ball was pitching how it was moving and being able to connect with it every time. Wow, so that's a second session of around about 60 balls, another 10 overs. Really try to focus back, back and across and then the front movement. And I'm really impressed with how that's coming along. So I'm happy with that. I feel like I took your advice, started working on it. Of course, this whole thing about muscle memory is gonna be something that really does need to take time to bed in. I'm gonna do one more session, but I'm gonna knock the machine up to 65 miles an hour. And you'll remember last time, I was really poor at 65 miles an hour. 
So let's see what happens. So with the machine now knocked up to 65 miles an hour, I was pleased that I was still doing the back and across plus the secondary movement toward the ball. The extra speed took a little while to get used to and initially the shots were a little streaky, not quite to the center of the bat. So my hand speed not quite what it should be. So I wasn't as good at 65 as I thought I would be. Yeah, the time that I thought I had at 55 didn't translate in the jump up to 65. So not necessarily a good note to end on, but at 55, I really felt like the session paid off. About 120 balls, building the muscle memory, working on the trigger movement, and then getting the front foot across or the back foot depending. Anyway, thank you for all the support. And if there are more comments like this one, then I know that I'm doing a great job. It's great to know that I'm being an inspiration. And if this video was inspiring to you, give it a like and also subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you along as I build on this journey towards the new season. Until next time, thanks for coming along. Cheers.